This is your uh, special teams captain speaking, welcoming you aboard the aircraft. Looks like we'll have clear skies on our trip today, so get comfortable, grab a few snacks, and we'll be taking off shortly. Aircraft, a 767 jumbo jet flying the friendly skies for over four years now. Its origin was born out of necessity. The idea of, of owning our own plane, you know, really started in 2015 or 2016. And so as we and other teams felt the stress of, of getting the proper equipment to get the team to the most important thing, the game, we said, why don't we solve it ourselves? At the beginning of the process, we needed to find a partner uh, in the airline industry who had the expertise to put a plane together and also to operate a plane. So when we started this project, we said, we're not gonna change any structural components. So we left the, you know, all the cabin dividers in place. We left the bathrooms in place. But then we stripped everything else. You know, we stripped carpets, we stripped, you know, the overhead bins, we stripped seats. From an aesthetic and a comfort perspective, we built it back up from the inside. To make sure it's good for a football team, um, we started by saying, is what, what should the layout of the plane be? The 767 we have typically carries 260 people. Uh, but since we didn't have a need to travel 260 people, uh, we wanted to utilize the space on the plane to give more space for people. I think the most interesting thing is, is the configuration inside the airplane and how it's laid out and how everything is, is, is particular, catered to a football. In the industry, they call it pitch. Um, and so the more pitch you have, the more leg room. And we wanted to have a plane that where a player, a tall player sitting in the plane was comfortable from a leg perspective. When we purchased the seats for this plane, we wanted to purchase seats that were the widest possible. If you're a 350 pound offensive or defensive lineman, sitting in a regular seat on a regular plane really doesn't work. We wanted it to be as state of the art as possible from an in-flight entertainment perspective. But having the screen in the seat back in front of you, um, and then having a wide range of movies, shows, music uh, that the players and the coaches and the, and the rest of the travel party could enjoy while they're on the trip. It's the New England Patriots plane. We wanted to, you know, wear our colors with pride on the outside. Uh, so our design team at Craft Sports and Entertainment uh, worked to create the design. With planes, you use only certain places that can, can create the decals, can paint the plane. Uh, so there was a whole process near the end where, where the entire plane had to be painted, first white, and then the colors on top of it. Uh, and then lastly, where you see logos and the Lombardi trophies, those are actually decals. We added a sixth Lombardi trophy. We're actually now 18 months ago, uh, we added uh, uh, another logo uh, telling people to get vaccinated because we think that is critically important to our society and we wanted to put that on our plane. Contact For us, Eastern Airlines manages all of the, what I would call it, plane logistics. Things can change. Things can come up at a moment's notice. We could change a schedule. Something's going on, so we have to delay the, delay the plane a little bit to make the needs and adjust everything accordingly. And I think that's really a, a, the big, unique part of this. From the maintenance of the plane to the piloting and the crewing of the plane, to fueling the plane, to getting catering on and off the plane. But with, with the Patriot organization, I have to be even be more adaptable and more flexible in, in how we operate the airplane and to take care of any kind of issues that arise. So on a road game, I'm constantly in communication with Eastern, um, in communication with the bus companies, uh, with the hotels, just Having backup plans on backup plans, Eastern always lets us know well ahead of time, hey, we're on time, hey, we're running five minutes late, hey, we're five minutes early, um, food's here, the caterer's here.
getting the equipment on and off the flight. Um, one, it depends on where we're playing, if it's warm weather, cold weather, if it's inside, um, if it's outside. That will really kind of determine which equipment we bring, how heavy it is, um, and then I'm working with Eastern to calculate all the weights and balances, get that loaded up onto the plane so it's all ready to go. If we planned it right, we just need to arrive at the plane and then they manage everything else for us. The airplane's always at the ready. It's at a VIP level, it's constantly clean, and it's, it's in, in utmost condition. It has to be ready on the go all the time. It's a better experience. It's, it's just it's, it's a more comfortable experience that you have room to, to sit, you have room to maneuver, and it, it, and it truly represents the pa pa patriotization. When we walk in and see, we are all patriots. Uh, that just, just makes, makes it special. Only having one plane would force us to rely on outside parties. Mr. Krapp is very smart. He took two 767-300s. One is a backup spare airplane. We always took what we call the main plane, uh, but the second plane was always ready to fly. It was crewed, it had pilots, it had flight attendants. Um, it was fueled, it was ready to go to support the operation. So every time we traveled, we had two planes ready to go even though we were only operating one. One of the ancillary benefits of having your own plane, it's allowed the Kraft family to use it for good. One such example, um, you know, which has been well publicized, is, uh, is our trip to China to get masks. You know, here in Massachusetts, we've seen time and again that we work best when we work together. Jonathan, honestly, we can't thank you and your dad and your family enough for answering the call and helping make this happen. To be able to bring, you know, 1.1 million masks back on our plane uh, at a time when no one could get them was incredibly rewarding. And if you don't have your own plane, it's not even, you don't even start a discussion. One year ago is a way to say thank you to the hardworking men and women on the front lines. The Kraft family flew 76 healthcare professionals to Super Bowl 55 in Tampa. trying year, so I was really excited for this. This is truly, truly amazing. I'm so grateful to the Kraft family. Thank you so much. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Championship programs attract other championship programs. Just ask the Boston Renegades women's tackle football team. We'd like the privilege of flying you on our Patriot team plane. What a champion! It's been really rewarding, you know, not only to move the team, uh, but also to be able to, to help with the mission to help others. Wherever we go, people turn their heads. You see the airline employees when they're working, they stop what they're doing. They take their cell phones out and they're taking pictures everywhere. It's just amazing how much this airplane attracts a true Patriot fan. They're always more asking about their plane and what it's about. It's an amazing airplane, it really is. In an average season, Aircraft One travels 44 hours in the air and racks up over 17,000 air miles. All of it done with one mission in mind, to transport the team to the opponent city in the safest, most comfortable and efficient way possible. Now, if you'll excuse me. This is your special teams captain speaking. Next stop, 